142. That's how many charges prosecutors filed today against suspected theater gunman James Holmes. 24 counts of murder, two for each of the 12 people killed. 116 counts of attempted murder, again, two each for the 58 people injured. Plus, one count of possession of explosives and one count of a crime of violence. Marshall Zellinger from our script station in Denver was in the courtroom for the hearing. Suspected shooter James Holmes charged with 142 counts, essentially two for each victim. One for deliberation, meaning he planned the event. The other for extreme indifference to human life, meaning not necessarily planned. For the murder charges, either of those come with life or the potential death penalty for Holmes. No cameras allowed in the courtroom for this hearing. Instead, this sketch showing Holmes, his hair losing its color, now orange and yellow, this time flat and wavy instead of curly. The judge entered the courtroom at 9.28 a.m. and immediately told Holmes he faces 142 counts. Inside the courtroom, victims of the shooting, some visibly injured, this woman with a cast on her arm, this man walking with a cane. They were there in person to hear the charges against Holmes. We wanted to know why he was charged twice for each victim. That requires the prosecution to prove that he acted with extreme indifference, but not that he acted after deliberation. So they can get a guilty verdict by proving it either way. They don't have to prove it both ways. I was one of about three dozen media members allowed in the courtroom, and I saw Holmes's demeanor a bit different than what we saw on video last week. He stared at the judge when spoken to. He raised his eyebrows kind of like this just a few times, and his eyes went wide just twice in comparison to the numerous times we saw last week. He did speak one word in court. When the judge asked him if he understood he was waiving his right to a preliminary hearing within 35 days, in a deep voice, he simply said, yes. In Arapahoe County, I'm Marshall Zellinger.